Hi guys, I'm back making another soap in my five pound soap mold. The new five pound. So today I'm making lavender and chamomile by ArizonaMadOils.com. Lavender and chamomile because I I get this highly requested by customers. They all, for some reason, go crazy over. Ooh, okay. They all go crazy over this lavender and chamomile, so that's what we're doing. And the colors in the soap are going to be knee high, great knee high for purple, and the maniacal pea, maniacal pea for the green. And I'm going to use titanium dioxide for my white. So it's going to be white, purple, and green. The um, lavender and chamomile soap. So let me put my gloves on. I always wear gloves when you're making soap because soap is made with lye. And it burns the skin so if the soap batter get on your skin it's gonna burn all right so we ready so in this bucket is my oils cooled at room temperature and this bowl is my lye water solution cooled at room temperature um, I have my cups for the different colors and let me prep everything my spoon for my colors. Get that ready. Have my fragrance oil ready. All right, so that's everything. We have our mold right here, and I got my piping bags ready for for the center of the piping. I'm using the Sultan again. The Sultan comes like this with a uh, round insert in the middle and what I do is because I want that hollow tip I cut the round part in the middle out so it'll just be a round hollow tip and I'm also using this pipe for the little piping around the center piping that I'm going to be doing and you'll understand more once you see me doing it I'm using three different colors for piping, the white, the purple, and the green. Um, the white is going to be the center salt and pipe, and then the purple and the green is going to be the little flowers all over the place. So, yeah, so let's get started. We have everything prepped up. Let's begin by adding a lot more turf to our oils, and again, I soak at room temperature. So everything is the same temp, cool, room temperature. Because when you soak at room temperature, guys, you trace slower. You're able to do a little bit more with a little bit more time on your hands. So when you're tracing at a warmer temperature, your batter traces faster. So I always soak at room temperature, which gives me time to do my designs and my piping and everything else. So when you add your lye water into your oil, you don't want to just start blending with your stick blender. You want to mix it up with a whisk or a spatula real good before you stick blend. So I have a new stick blender, guys. I always show y'all my new stick blender. I got this off of the Amazon app and it was on sale for $13.99. Um, it has 150, it's 150 watts and it has one speed. So I'm going to try it out and see how I like it. So excuse the noise while I blend. And when you insert your stick blender into your oils, you want to bounce it around and burp all the air out because you don't want to start stick blending and it has air in it. So here we go. Burp. 
So you want to blend for a few seconds, then stir. Then blend, then stir. Blend and stir. You don't want to just continuously blend because two things are going to happen. You're going to burn out your stick blender and you're going to trace faster. So you just want to get it to a light or light to medium trace. Trace means when you take pick it up like this, it leaves trace marks on the top. That's why it's called trace. This is called emulsification, which means when you're stick blending, you want it to be emulsified, which means you want the water, the lye water, and the oils to be fully incorporated together where they don't separate. That is emulsification. Okay. And I'm sorry that you can't see it in this tall bucket, but I'm going to go to Walmart tomorrow and find me a, a clear big Pyrex bowl. I just didn't have time to do it because I've been battling a toothache. Ugh, and I finally made it to the dentist today and got medication and I'm feeling better. So... Alright, so right now I'm at a light trace and I am emulsified. Alright, I'm at a light trace and I am emulsified. Well, let me just try to get about enough of that. So when you pull your stick blender up and you see it dripping down and you see that the oil is not separating from the lye water, that means it is emulsified. And you're at a light or medium trace. Alright, so let me put this over here for right now. And let me start to separate my batter. So, put some in here. Some in here. Some in here. Trying to separate it evenly. I have four bowls because all of it, I don't have a bowl big enough that'll fit all that I need for the three colors. So two of the bowls are going to be white because I am doing drop swirls with all three colors and I'm also piping with all three colors. So two of them will be white. Alright, let me get my spatula. Scrape my container. I'm making a mess. Good thing I put wax paper down because I am messy, y'all. But let me scrape out my container and get all the soap out because we don't waste soap here. We want every last drop. Every last drop. Alright, that's enough for me. But I'm not going to be doing that all day. Okay. So I'm going to put this down here for right now. Give my little hands a wipe with my little countertop. And the first color that I want to mix up is... Mm, let's mix up the purple. And 
when you add in your mica and your fragrance, you always want to stir it in first before you blend because you don't want to do too much stick blending in your batter because the more you stick blend, the thicker your batter gets and you won't be able to work with it like you want to. So everything is stir, stir, stir at first. And then once you get everything in and you're ready to start designing, then you start to stick plan. So you know this chiller. So when you are a soaper, the more spatulas and whisk you have, the better your life is. You want to have a variety, a variety of whisk and spatulas on hand. I need some more grain for this very moment because you don't want to use the same whisk or spatula when you stirring up different colors because you don't want to mix the colors. So you need more than one spatula or whisk to whatever you choose to stir with. And these, you need a lot of these. These come in handy. There we go. I got the green. So now let me do the white. So I do the white last because titanium um, dioxide makes your batter trace fast. So do that last. Start in this titanium. This is going to be white for the middle. Probably need a little bit more. You always add all your colors first and then you add your fragrance last. Because fragrance also makes your batter trace fast. So you want to do everything in proper order because you don't want your batter to trace up too fast or seize up on you or get too thick where you can't do anything with it. So, being that titanium traces faster, we're going to mix our purple and our green first. Ooh, that smells good. I see why everybody be requesting that. So it smells really good. And again, before we stick blend, we're going to stir it up with our spatula or our whisk to make sure it's incorporated. And a little tip, if your batter ever gets too thick, you can always add water to it to loosen it up. But the more water you add to it, the longer it takes to cure. But if you want to loosen up your batter, you can always add water. So let's start with the stick blend. We're going to stick blend. We're going to go lightest to darkest. So we're going to stick blend the green first. And you don't want to stick blend too much. You just want to mix it all in. Um, enough for that. Just want to make sure the color and the fragrance is well incorporated. So just a little light stick blending is necessary. Okay, now purple. That's enough of that. Now we're going to add the fragrance to the white and stick blend the white. Okay, so let's add the fragrance. All right, now you see how it's, I added the titanium, but it's still kind of yellow. Once you start stick blending, it's going to turn white. Ooh, and that titanium make it trace fast. Look how thick it is. Alright, so let's 
about to put it in the mold. Okay. So let's wipe this up. Make some room. So I think I'm going to drop with my green first. Drop some purple. Then I'm gonna take my spoon and do a little spoon swirl in it. You don't want to stir, you just want to pick up and lift, lift and drop, lift and drop. Then I'm gonna come with my white. Lift and drop, lift and drop. Then I'm going to come with my green again. Spray that out. This smells amazing, y'all. I see why people are requesting this. This smells really cool and re relaxing my empty container in the bucket then I'm going to come with the purple scrape this out I can grab my spatula all right then we're going to come with the white after the purple so making it so relaxing for me and therapeutic and being that I've been in agony for like uh, a week with this tooth to finally get some medicine and get relief and be pain free, I can actually enjoy this again. I'm going to add the rest of our whites. Then we're going to come with the spoon again and swirl it all up. I am famous for my spoon swirls, y'all. Famous for the spoon swirls. That is my favorite technique. Out of hanger swirl. I love a good drop swirl and a spoon swirl. So now, now that we got all the soap in there, we're gonna just take our spoon and lift and drop, lift and drop. Lift and drop. Lift and drop. And then we want to tap it down and clean our edges up. Clean up our edges. Then we're going to mix another batter to do our piping. So this was the first batter to fill the mold. Now we're going to do another batter for the piping. Smooth this out. Boom. Smooth it out. All right, get back in here, smooth it out. Okay. Let's 
separate this. Really thick. And we're going to add some color. It's thick because I let it sit like that. All right, so let's mix this up, but it's good to be thick because this is piping. We want it thick, and it's going to loosen up again when I add some fragrance all to it, so mix up the purple. all to this okay and the fragrance all like I said it loosens it back up it loosens it back up Stick blend it, and we're gonna do some good stick blending because we want it to thicken up this time because this is our piping. Okay, so let's lightest to darkest. So we're gonna. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna let this sit for about three to five minutes to thicken up to put in the piping bag. Alright. This just going to have to sit for maybe two minutes to thicken up to put in the piping bag. Um, I'm not, I changed my mind. I'm not going to put no white on the top. I'm just going to pipe with the purple and the green. And I'm just going to leave the white inside for the drop swirls. So, let's put up our mica powders and titanium that we don't need anymore. Okay. Put up our fragrance that we don't need anymore. All right. And let's wipe stuff down. I am a messy soaper. I've told y'all that already. But I clean it all up when I'm done. So now we're going to get ready to put our piping in the piping bag. Put all my spatulas in the dishwashing pile. Okay. Grab some paper towel from my hands. Alright guys. Soaking is not hard. It's very easy and very relaxing. And I teach classes, virtual classes. So if you want to learn how to make soap, contact me on my Facebook or my Instagram. Jabelle Soaps on Instagram and Jabelle on Facebook. Contact me in Messenger or my DM. And I will gladly help you learn how to make soap. Okay, so I have all my pipings ready. So I'm going to put 
put them in these cups so that I can add the soap batter to the piping bags. Okay, so let's see what we got. I need to stack it up. Put them all up. I put them all away. Let me wipe this white off because I do not want that to mix in with my colors. Okay, so we want it to be the consistency of icing and we are there. So we're going to put our purple in the bag. You want your soap batter to, to be icing consistency so that when you pipe, your soap doesn't flop down or lay down, it stands up, the peaks are good. But if it's too loose when you start to pipe, it'll lose its shape and we don't want that. So that's the purple and let's get the green in. This is a pretty green. These colors remind me of like Easter. But when I thought of lavender and chamomile, I thought of purple for lavender and green and white for the chamomile. So, and it smells so good, y'all. Y'all to smell it. I see why the customers requesting this. Okay, so we have all our piping in the bag. So, I'm going to start with my purple first. And you want to shake it down to the tip. Then you want to twist. Okay, so let's move this mold closer so y'all can see. Okay, so the way I pipe is I do three across all the way down. Then two across all the way down. Then one across all the way down. So. Oop. Boop. So the way this mold is shaped, it, you have to do four across. Because it's a bigger mold. It's just like icing in a cake, y'all. Yeah. Exactly just like icing in a cake. So for y'all cake makers out there who want to learn how to make soap, piping is going to be a breeze for you. Piping is going to be a breeze for the, the cake makers because it's just like decorating a cake. But to me, it's more fun and smells better. It smells so good in here. This is a beautiful fragrance, very calm, and I see why people like it. Okay, so now we're going to go with the green. Take it down. Twist my bag, and now we're gonna come with the three. How do y'all like the colors together? 
the purple and the green and don't forget on the inside of the soap we got some white swirls too I think it worked out good all right now we're coming back well let me make these a little bigger All right, now we're coming back with the purple. This is the fun part about soap making, the decorating. You can be as creative as you want to be. Do it how you want no right or wrong way is what's pretty to you. And this is why it's therapeutic because you'd be pleased with what you've done and you're amazed at how pretty it is and you're like, oh my God, I made that. Look at that, guys. Ain't that beautiful? See? Purple and green. So, we're going to just use up the rest of it. Skip around a bit. Skip around a bit. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? So now I can come and just fill in some little empty spots that I see. Just fill in some empty spots. Use up all your batter. Oh my God, that's so pretty ain't it guys all right how did i do but guess what i'm not done yet because y'all know who i am i am glitter queen so let's see we're gonna go with mermaid trails and uh silver maybe mermaid trails by uh, let me see, Mad Michaels, is it? Let's see. Yep. Mermaid Trails by Mad Micah. That's a white glitter, but it has purple and blue and pink undertones to it. And then by Mad Michaels, also the Fairy Duster Nina Simone Sparkle for the silver. So, we're just going to sprinkle some mermaid trails over the top just like this add some bling bling to it y'all then we're gonna take the silver duster and just add some sparkles so pretty That's gorgeous, y'all. I could put some beads on it, too. Y'all think I should put some beads on it? Just a few. Just a few, just to fancy it up. What y'all think? Shoot, this came out better than I was 
planning, y'all. Look at how pretty. And the beads brings out the white swirls that's on the inside of the soap, y'all. Ain't that wonderful? Look, that is awesome. This is awesome. Awesomeness. So, here's the finished product, guys. This is lavender and chamomile. Ain't it gorgeous? Purple, green, and white swirls on the inside, and the green and purple piping on top with the white pearls and the mermaid trails and um, the mermaid trails glitter and the silver glitter. Ain't it beautiful, y'all? And y'all can make this too. All you have to do is contact me and say, hey. I see your videos and all that nice soap you're making. I want to learn how to make it too. Look at it, y'all. Ain't that gorgeous? So pretty. So, yeah, this is lavender and chamomile, and it will be ready in four weeks because it has to cure which means to get harder and harder so the bar will last longer but technically after three days after you make it you can use it but it, it's not going to be as hard and it's not going to last long so you want to let it cure for four to six weeks but I am very satisfied very 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 satisfied this is awesome and this is the first soap in my mold. And I'm naming this mold after my mother, Ernestine. She passed away in um, 2005. But my mother, I get all my creativity from my mother. My mother was able to do anything. She was a baker, a cook. She sold our clothes. And my mother was awesome. So I'm dedicating this to my mother. The name of this mold is going to be Ernestine. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Contact me on Facebook or Instagram. Jabelle Soaps on Instagram and Jabelle on Facebook. Bye, have a blessed one.